Hello. In this video, we'll be going over how to fax both sending and receiving with Ring Central. So, before we get started sending and receiving faxes, we're going to want to log into Ring Central and make sure our faxing is set up the way that we like. So, on this page, I'm already logged into Ring Central, and by default, it'll take you to the overview tab. To adjust our fax settings, we're going to want to go over to the settings tab and take a look at the outbound fax settings. And here's where you can put in some basic information about your company. And your address. And all of these are all of these fields are optional. You don't have to fill them in. And we'll also be able to adjust what number our faxes appear to be coming from. In this case, I'm going to want to use the number that was assigned to my extension instead of the main company number. And down here at the bottom, this is um, another important setting. This is what allows you to um, send messages via email from your Outlook client. As you can see here, um, to send a fax via email, to send the fax to fax number or rcfax.com. But before we can use this feature, we do need to add our email address here. And click Add. And once you have this page set up how you like, click Save. And before we move on, I do want to show you one more thing about this page. Um, if you click here on the cover page, you can see different cover page options. It's basic formatting. Pick the one that you like the most, or if your manager has standardized the fact sheets that you should use, um, pick the one that they recommend that you pick. Um, for this one, we'll go with just the Contempo. Next, we'll want to take a look at how we um, receive faxes. And the way, where we go to do that is the messages and notifications settings. And click on notifications down at the bottom. As you can see here, we have the received faxes section, and we have it set to, uh, to send us an email whenever we receive a fax, and also include that fax as an attachment with the email. We'll have the messages marked as read once emailed, so we don't have to log into the Ring Central website to mark them as read. And we'll be using the same email address as we use for voicemail, which is defined here. We're not going to be making any changes, so I'll click cancel. So now that that's all set up, there's a few ways that we can send faxes. Um, the first one is to actually log into your Ring Central um, account on the website. And there's a button here that says fax out. Simply type the number that you want to fax to. And define whether or not you want to use that cover page that we just set up. If you have any notes, you can put them in here. And we can upload a file to be faxed. I already have some files here on my desktop. And we click attach. If we want to send it at a specific time, we can schedule that here. But for the purpose of this video, I'll go ahead and click send now. 
Before we click next send now, I do want to point you at this option right here. And this, if you click here, it'll simply bring up a page that has all the supported file formats that you can use with Ring Central Facts. As you can see, the list is quite large and supports the most commonly used file formats, such as PDF, Word documents, even rich text files. So we'll go ahead and click Send Now. And I'll pause the recording as it can take a while for this to work. Okay, we're back. It's been a couple of minutes and we've already gotten it to go through. Whenever you send a fax through Ring Central, you'll get a fax transmission result email. And it will tell you here whether or not it was successfully sent or if the other fax machine wasn't answering or if it just failed for some other reason. And it also tells you the file names that you sent. Um, down here I have the inbox that we've actually sent it to. And when you receive a message, a fax message through Ring Central, um, if you've set up the settings that we went through earlier in this video, you'll also receive an email telling you that you have a new fax message. And it will attach that fax message here. As you can see, we have the cover sheet that has the information that we set up. And on the second page is the actual document that we sent. Now, I want to show you another way that we can send fax, machine, or fax messages using the fax via email. So I already have this Outlook message already pre-generated. We're already sending it to the fax number at rcfax.com. And in the subject line, if you have this setting set up, this is what will appear in the notes section of your cover letter. It's important to note that any text that you put in the body of the email will be ignored. So if you have a super fancy signature, you don't have to worry about deleting it each and every time that you send a fax message with an email. Instead, what we need to do is we need to attach some documents to this email. I'll go ahead and use the same PDF form that we sent earlier. And I can even attach more than one document. Now, it's important to note that there are some uh, file formats that are not supported by Ring Central, such as this .epub format. If we were to try to send it, it would fail. So we'll send the email now. And again, I'll pause recording to give this some time to work. Okay, so um, I have a configuration. I have a configuration issue, and I'm not able to actually send a message. Um, as the user that I was trying to demonstrate with because I don't have permissions to do so. However, I can assure you that the steps that I just showed you do work. I'll just um, be skipping demonstrating how it works for now. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is I have another um, uh, browser open that I'm logged into um, as the person that we were receiving the uh, the messages from and 
again, by default, when you log in, they'll take you to the overview tab and you can see that we have a new fax message and it's already been um, marked as red. And the reason why it's been marked as red is because we have that setting set that whenever we receive an, um, a, a message, it'll automatically email it to us and mark it as red. However, we can come in here and look at the um, fax message directly from the uh, online. And this is the same one that I showed you um, that we received in our email earlier. And that's it. That's how you fax with Ring Central. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. And goodbye.